Yo, what is going on today? Ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, today, I'm going to get right into it. I'm doing how to get more kills, specifically on King's Canyon. Olympus is different. There's a whole other strat to Olympus. But for those of you that struggle to get high kill games on King's Canyon, this is the video for you. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a gameplay. I'm going to talk over it, explaining what I do, my thought process, etc. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to waste your time with some long, boring-ass intro that nobody wants to hear. We're going to get right into it. But I will say, I do stream on Twitch. And my stream has been lacking lately. I don't care about the money part of Twitch. I'm focused on YouTube for long-term, you know, revenue. I like talking to people while I play video games. Otherwise, I get bored. So if you guys want to drop the follow on Twitch, it'd mean the world to me, straight up. And I'm not lying to you guys. I just want to talk to you guys while I play the video games. Otherwise, I get bored. You know, that's pretty much it, you know, if you like the video, you drop a like. Commenting, it helps boost the algorithm. All that is, it helps me out. And you don't gotta do it, but, you know, let's get right into it, you guys don't care. I'm like a rock. But a lot of people drop. All right, boys, so first things first, you're going to want to see who's dropping where, see how many teams are going to land in the general vicinity, and if you want high kills, you're going to follow them. You're going to challenge them off rip, you're going to take the 50-50, and you're going to slay out. So the first part of this process is to find where a lot of people are going, do not spend a lot of time looting, and get straight into the fighting. And you're about to see this right here. Understandable. A little bit of a side note here, boys. This is my buddy Sinclair. If you guys don't know him, I play with him every day. One of my good friends. He streams on Twitch as well. His game or his uh, Twitch is the same thing as his uh, Steam ID, as well as his YouTube. Look him up. I'll provide him in the description. But he's a good dude and he's better than me at the game. So you know, do what you will with that. Now moving on to our second tip, if you will. As soon as you hear shots, you push towards that shit. Drop what you're doing, go towards it. You are not going to get kills being complacent, and you're not going to, you know, get better at the game by not taking gunfights and not pushing. The number one tip that I could give you guys is to just push everything. If you die, who cares? It's a video game. At least you're taking gunfights, at least you're trying to get better. Just get in there, thirst everybody, kill everybody. Make them end there to get, you know, just make them end it for today. Look at that Miss Massive shot. Do I care? No. Still got the kill. Why? I pushed. Alright, boys. So the next one, loot up as quickly as possible. We spend a little bit, you know, too much time doing this, but you know, sue me. We notice that there's a caustic left over. Are we going to let them get away? No. There is no survivors when you're trying to get high kill games. You grief their game and you chase them across the map. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Look, we're looking for him. He shoots us off the zip. Stupid move. Let's see how this is going to play out for him. Yeah. I'm gonna let his homie drop and I'm just gonna tap him while I let his homie drop. Don't shoot him. Oh, uh, bro, why'd you shoot him? Because he threw an arc star. I, I thought, I thought he was gonna lose my bed. Oh my god. Oh well, we don't respect caustic around here. Obviously, obviously, you never were in a kill race back in the day. I have. Charging on my shield. So another side tip here. It doesn't hurt to use a movement-based legend. You know, you could do this with any legend, but this season I'm really enjoying Octane. I get around the map quick, I get my jump pad back like every minute. It's lovely. Use this to your advantage. You can get around the map much quicker. You could rotate much quicker. You can get to more kills a lot easier. So, you know, take that as you will. 
So, you know, I do got a lot of kills. Maybe I do know something. I don't know. They would open those side that I'm not on, dude. I'm pissed. You see, I know what you're thinking right about now. It's not looking too good for him. Luckily, I'm abusing one of the most broken guns in the game. Tip. Use the guns that are meta. I know it sucks. You don't want to be a meta slave, but you want to drop a lot of kills. Drop your R9. Actually, the R9 still fries. Drop whatever gun you usually use and pick up the Spitfire and the Mastiff. It's that simple. The devs want to make, you know, game-breaking changes to the game. Abuse it until they do something about it. That's the only way we get things done. This isn't even hit, so I'm gonna skip right past it. This one should really go without saying, but you get someone weak, what do you do? You don't go and let them heal. You push that shit. Watch me mess up. Do I care? No. Still gonna eat. You know, it's not. nothing's gonna be picture perfect in this game ever. But what you can do is do your best to just get in there, push gunfight, see, this guy is the high ground on me. Is it my best gunfight? No. But he was weak, so what do I do? Cocky finisher. Have to. Sometimes you just have to. He left the game. Thank you for the free bat. I didn't even pick up on that. Uh, uh, there's there's team no team on uh, I see him. I need a twitch on this thing. I really can't shoot it. Arkstar. It just bounced out. New tip. Definitely steal your teammates' kills. Look at that. 19 damage. Easy clap. Sinclair gets shit on, bud. And I got two kills right there. What's that? Two kills, two seconds? Easy. You see somebody weak, you shoot them. Sinclair, you're beat. Your guys' teammates, you're beat. You know, it's a it's a dog eat dog world. Yeah, um, what you looking for, Zaddy? Here, bro. Uh, two eggs. Killing all these teams and nobody got shit. I got one on my spitty. There's someone up here, right? Uh, I don't know. Any right above us.
And this is probably my last and final tip that you should really take to heart. This is not a push I should have taken. But did I do it anyways? Of course. This is where my game crumbles. I was hyped on, you know, I was getting kills. I was loving it. I was feeling it. Over Chad, look at that. Got shot in the back. So I had no map awareness and I got caught lacking, essentially. But sometimes there's fights you should take, sometimes there's not. Getting rev silence and still continuing to push? Probably a stupid call on me. Maybe I, you know, back up, regroup a little bit with my teammate. But like I said, it's a video game. Who cares? And the thing is, I stopped recording after this because I was pissed. But Sinclair did end up uh, killing these guys and rezzing me, and I ended the game with 15 kills. But, uh, yeah, I let my uh, I let my frustration get the best of me. So for those of you that made it that long, thank you for watching that. I hope this helped you a little bit. I, however, do have some new vids coming out. Uh, number one will be how to get more kills on Olympus because it's a much harder map in my opinion it's to me it feels a lot bigger and teams die a lot quicker so you know i got a strap for that and i also what other video did i have i don't know i guess we'll see but thank you guys for watching this if you want you know drop the sub the comment help the kid out a little bit if not i understand you know who cares about me anyway right but i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and uh hopefully you guys could have some fun playing season eight